May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and in an effort to spread awareness, we're joined by Asiana Saragosa Torres, the Youth and Peer Coordinator of NAMI Hawaii. Aloha, Asia. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, it's truly an honor to be here. It's a really important topic. So for viewers who don't know of NAMI, tell us a little bit about the organization. We are the National Alliance on Mental Illness. We are the largest grassroots mental health organization, and our mission is to educate, advocate, and mm -hmm. promote mental health awareness here in our state. We are also peers living in recovery. So with me, I'm actually living in recovery from depression. Um, and so I'm glad to have persevered through that and to be here today with you. That's amazing. And thank you for sharing a little bit about your journey. I know last time you were here, we talked about your struggle. As a teenager, I believe you were 15, mm -hmm. you said. So it's important to you know, volunteer with NAMI, and that's great that you're now the youth and peer coordinator with them as well. How are viewers then able to volunteer? Are there a couple events that we can get involved in with NAMI? Yeah, we have uh, NAMI Walks 2024 coming up. We also are always looking for volunteers. Um, we need volunteers for our different programs that we offer. We have an End the Silence program, which is a mental health awareness presentation that we give to our youth in the Hawaii DOE. We also offer NAMI on campus clubs. Um, so we're also looking for willing students who are willing to open this club on their campus, middle school, high school, and college students. And then we also do have peer support groups and family support groups. And these are all free of cost as well. Good to know. Now for others who may not be a part of NAMI right now, that's amazing that they're able to join that. Are there other ways, maybe on social media, or different things that they can do to really get involved specifically with Mental Health Awareness Month, which is this month in May? Yeah, I would say be brave and share your story. I think use encouraging language when talking about mental health as well. Mm -hmm. And overall, just just being proud, um, embodying hope, and coming together as a community, I think is the best thing that we can do for one another during this time. Great, good to know. And what is the overall message then of NAMI? I know they have like a mantra or a motto. Yeah, overall, we embody hope. And we'd like everybody to know that it's okay not to be okay. Um, we all go through struggles, but we are strong and we can get through it. And we at NAMI Hawaii are here to help. And we want new volunteers. We want people who add to our mission. And we also just want to be able to help everybody who is going through this hard time, especially with our free programs. Great. Good to know. And then how can we follow the journey with NAMI? I know we also had maybe their website already on the screen, but just one more time for us. Maybe website, social media, so that viewers can accessibly and maybe easily get involved. Yeah, of course. We have an Instagram at NAMI Hawaii, and then we also have NAMIHawaii.org. Awesome. Sounds good. And again, we'll have that on the screen. It's right there. And then you could find this interview at k22.com for a little bit more information. So thank you so much for joining us, Asia, and then bringing awareness for Mental Health Awareness Month. No problem. Thank you.